Hello, good morning, YouTubers. It's me, Gabriel Salinas. I'm back. Um, our topic for today is about the archangels. Yes, archangels. Uh, kung nakikita nyo dito sa monitor, meron akong isang medal at I have a one on sa uh, St. Michael the Archangel Silver Coin uh, from Ukraine. So, before that, uh, uh, paki, paki uh, like, subscribe, and uh, share na rin po. Uh, at uh, may sasagutin lang po ako dito na question uh, sa isa sa mga ating mga viewers with the name of Mr. Lin uh, thank you Mr. Lin for the comment question ito po uh, kasi nga po ay medyo bago sa kanyang pandinig ang salitang mints which is a numismatic word so ito po yun uh, the origin word of mint is ascribed to the manufacturer of silver coin at coin at Rome in 269 BC at the temple of Juno Maneta. This goddess became the personification of money and her name was applied both to money and its place of manufacturing. So, sa madaling uh, paliwanag, means are facilities that produce coins for use as currency or a collector item. National means produce coins that are legally recognized as legal tender. The U.S. Mint produced 10 of billions of coins each year. So, ayan po. Ay, banggatin ko na rin yung mga location ng U.S. Mint. Like, uh, ito matagal na po ito eh. Sa New Orleans, with a mark of O, uh, from the headquarters of Washington, D.C. The direct of the Mint Overseas Facility in Philadelphia. Denver. San Francisco, West Point, New York, and the U.S. Bullion Depository at the Port Knox. Ayan po, meron pong mark na S as in San Francisco, D as in Denver, P as in Philadelphia, and, and so on. At sa aking pag uh, research na Mayroon palang branch sa labas ng United States of America ang Mint, U.S. Mint. The first U.S. Mint, the branch mints located outside the continental United States which produced coins and tabo denomination for Philippine circulation. In 1920, 1922, 1925, and 1941, mint mark of M, as in Manila. So, sa makatwid na during World War II, eh, meron palang mint branch, ang US mint branch sa Manila. So, to Ms. Charlene, sana naintindihan mo o nagustuhan mo ito. So, back to our topic. Ito po is, uh, this is a coin from Ukraine. Uh, one old silver bullion arms. Okay. Uh, okay, buksan po natin. So, kadadatil lang po nito 
Pinoorder ko from the Opnex. Ayan po at nakalagay siya sa tube. Ayan po si St. Michael the Anchor Hell na nakalagayway ang kanyang pakpak at may harap na espada. Ayan po. At may nakasulat doon. Um, uh, ito pong coins na ito ay uh, This Archangel Michael is honored protector of the Ukrainian capital and state in his legacy the national bank of ukraine has commemorated an elaborated coin with accurate with acute craftsmanship for collectors worldwide in distinctive characteristic and scarce availability have increased collectors demand for it all over the world and this coin uh, contains a one ounce of 4999 pine silver and been designed by Balodimir Taran. And uh, kung nakikita niyo yung Ukrainian word na translate natin is uh, meant to say that for us and souls righteous men uh, at ang meaning ng as destroy tigos uh, may rati pronounce is pero it means like michael strands ayan po at dito po sa likod ay may design rin po ayan po Kita niyo po. Hindi ko natatanggalin sa capsule dahil para wala kasi kong hawak na gloves. Ayan. Napakagat ng queen. Ito po isa sa paborito kong uh, Oh, pans ni si St. Michael the Archangel okay po at ito naman po ay uh, isang medalyon yan ni Arch, ni St. Michael the Archangel medalyon po the Lord is with you mighty warrior judge 612 and Archangel Michael Ayan po Protect, May nakalagay na symbol ng cross at protection No harm will overtake you No disaster will come near your tent For he will command his angel Concerning you to guard you in all your ways Salmo 91, 10-11 Ayan po Ayan po ang Ano na yan At uh, Maraming tatanong Ano nga ba ang Archangel So So, ano nga ba siya? Uh, Archangel assists humankind. There are many orders of angels. That's uh, the Archangels. And uh, by special appointment of God. Have been tasked with the helping of humanity as we journey through our lives on earth. Each one has specific areas 
cop concentration. Opo, meron po bali sa aking pagkakaalam ay anim yata o pitong archangel. So naka-concentrate ako kay St. Michael. So pwede mo silang tawagin kahit anong oras ng iyong pangangailangan o tulong o pag-worried, problema. Pwede mong tawagan ng mga anghel na ito. Like St. Michael the Archangel. Hindi sila napapagod. They can be in more than one place at a time. They like us to call on them for help. Yes. For it's within asking that we acknowledge their presence and can attribute the miracles we experience to their loving assistance and God hands. While is it comforting to have a personal prayer to request assistance, it is not necessary. When I ask help, I speak to Archangel as a word with my best friend. It's an unconversational tone. It is important to note that the way of Archangels appear to us may be slight by difference for each person. So, yun po, ang pagkakasabi dito ay sa uh, kung ano ang problema ay tawagan nyo sila uh, magdasal at tawagin at nagpaparamdam po sila sa inyong presensya sa iba't ibang uri ng pagpaparamdam bawat personalidad o bawat tao ay may experience na mararamdamang siya ay nasa iyong tabi lamang just like uh, the presence of animals like when you when you call their name Saint Michael the Archangel you will feel uh, or you will see just like for example a butterfly flying around you or mararamdaman niyo po sila depende po sa tao kung paano nila i-interpret ito siya po ay ang great defender and protector of all Archangel Michael is the head of this order is often depicted with the sword in hand may hawak po siyang sword sa kanyang kamay uh, a banner or a scale and uh, at, at lagi pong nakikita siya na sa isang image o sa litrato na siya na tinatapakan niya yung the dragon which is the the demon Ay, kaya, kaya lang po wala dito eh Ayun po, yung tinatapakan niya yung the dragon which is the demon Apo He is the spiritual warrior in the battle of good versus the evil He is considered the champion of justice, a healer of the sick, and the guardian of the church. Over time, his role became one of the protector and the leader of the army of the God against forces of evil. He is also a guardian angel of the Pope and has been invoked as the patron guardian angel of many countries like I said before the Ukraine as well as a specific profession like uh, doctors, uh, police officers, soldiers, uh, the people in service in armed forces ito po ay kanilang patron 
use the strongest as the most powerful uh, so if you're not feeling safe or if you need a uh, extra amount of protection tawagin niyo po ang inyong uh, guardian angel tawagin niyo po siya at kayo po ay tutulungan niya um, at saka ito po ay uh, papanop niyo po siya matatawagan sa Uh, I'm sorry kung papaan niyo po sila ma, may salitang matatawagan o mahinga ng tulong kung kayo po ay may travel traveling or flying you know yung uh, feeling uneasy And uh, kung kayo ay mayroong mga anak na nasa service sa armed forces o police, bumbero o uh, security guard you can uh, give them a gift like a pendant it's a nice gift uh, for the protection you know At it doesn't matter uh, what religion you are, you you have, you know. Ah, uh, di pinag-usapan religion dito. It's about the safe and love, you know. Kung uh, may problema kayo. Oh, may mga negative na nakapaligid sa yung pamumuhay o oh, meron kayong surgery oh, maraming bagay po siyang ano actually yung namaya pa ang aking uh, magulang siya po ang aking tinatawagan na igay niya ang spirit o kaluluwa ng aking parents yun po Uh, at ang mga sineshare ko po sa inyo na ito ay uh, ay lang po sa aking uh, pagkakaalam at pag uh, pag research at pagsasaliksik sineshare ko lang po sa inyo uh, kung gusto niyo po ay uh, mag search din po kayo ng sarili niyo para mas lumapa ang kaalaman niyo At, uh, salamat sa lahat at naway uh, maging mapayapa kayo uh, God bless us so Saint Michael the Archangel siya po ang isa sa mga idol ko okay Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share and pakilike na rin po. Bye-bye.